important that the U.S. hears from American citizens on the ground. Um, physically, I am safe, and emotionally, I am traumatized. Well, tell me more. Why? Yesterday morning, um, I'm a Sabbath observant Jew. Yesterday morning, which was Sabbath and also one of our dear holidays, um, I was woken up at 6.30 a.m. to sirens um, in my building, which was built a long time ago. We don't have um, a bomb shelter inside of our apartment, so we go to the staircase. So we met with our neighbors in the stairs, children, elderly. We sat in the stairs and we heard the rockets being intercepted by the Iron Dome um, above our heads. We did hear some rockets that did fall in Israel, in Tel Aviv, very close to us. After those rockets, which we went up and down the stairs several times, we turned on the news, and that's when we understood that this is unlike anything we've ever seen before. Um, I'm an American citizen born in New York. I lived in New York until four years ago. I've never seen anything like this. Um, and that's when we understood what was really happening. But to be honest, Katie, the news took hours to catch up um, to what we were seeing in the WhatsApp groups from people that we know. Um, Israel's a very small country, so everybody knows someone who was either called to the reserves, killed, taken hostage, et cetera. Um, and we spent many, many hours sitting in front of the television, which again, I wouldn't do on a regular Sabbath, um, waiting for updates and waiting to hear from loved ones. The numbers that we are getting um, from Israeli media are uh, shocking. 600 Israelis dead, more than 100 held hostage. What else are you hearing regarding those that, that have currently been taken back it, into to it, Gaza? It's beyond the numbers. It's really, truly beyond the numbers, because what's happening here is that Hamas is videotaping what they're doing to the bodies of the victims who are killed and those who are alive. And they're being posted all over social media with celebrations happening in many places around the world. And families are recognizing their loved ones who have been taken in. Um, I personally have friends who have been called up to the reserve, said goodbye to their loved ones, packed up their bags, and went to where the army told them, presumably going to try to find um, our people and bring them back. And eventually, um, and eventually put an end to this, please God. And last night, we continued to have uh, fear of more rockets. Today was slightly different. Today, we felt that we needed to do something. And all over Israel, the volunteers, all of the civilians who didn't want to sit helplessly in front of their televisions, went to the donation centers to give blood. We organized um, on the spot donations of food, clothing, diapers, et cetera, that are going to the families that have been displaced, the families of, of terror victims, as well as all of the soldiers who are now being called to the reserves. So it's really beyond the numbers. Um, once you see the videos of what's happening to young teenage girls, young teenagers who were at a music festival that was intercepted, the hundreds of bodies that were found there that are not only Israeli citizens, they're people from all over, that's, that's, really, that's really when you understand the tragedy here. The numbers are really hard to relate to, but when you understand the stories and you see the faces, that's, 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 what's, uh, that's what's really uh, impacting many of us on the ground. This is a massive intelligence failure. I know we're in the fog of the moment and the emotions are running so high, but have you considered, have you considered what could have possibly led up to this breakdown? Does it make you feel differently about the government? I can't, I can't presume to know, um, and I, I'm sure that there is going to be weeks, if not months, of investigating to understand what was behind this, who was behind this, who was helping Hamas, and how, how this came to be. But for the moment, I'm entirely focused on supporting the people around me and thinking and praying for my friends and just praying that all the people that were kidnapped, all the innocent people that were murdered, um, that we bring their bodies back, that we bring them back, and that we can have peace in this region um, soon. Are, are you prepared for this being protracted and violence potentially coming close to you again? 
Yes, um, because our apartment doesn't have a bomb shelter and there were direct hits in Tel Aviv resulting in um, damage, severe damage to buildings and streets, we actually are staying at a friend's apartment. Um, that apartment is empty because they are in the reserves. They've been called up, so they've gone to their army units and they left us the apartment. So we're staying there with friends and we have food and um and and water and we i do anticipate that this is going to be a while i'll also tell you that i work in a um i work in in a technology startup that is employees in the u.s and in israel and we're feeling the support from all of our u.s employees i'm feeling support from the thousands of people that are writing to us that are posting that are sharing about this and i i do feel comfort in the sense that there are many organizations on the ground that are providing support to all the people that need it.